to Mirana's special broadcast on the war against single-use plastic. Now, the UN General Assembly, Prime Minister Modi referred to a ban on single-use plastic. PM also said that the country is leading the fight against climate change. The government is expected to issue a notification soon banning single-use plastic entirely. Now, multiple states have also put curbs on plastic use. At Mirror Now, we champion this proposed ban, which is why today we are running a special campaign against plastic. From across the country, our reporters will show you what states are doing, what people are doing, what are the alternatives available, and how you can do your bit to say no to plastic. In fact, it's been three years since Karnataka government has banned plastic in the state. Now, this has led to a number of cloth and paper bag manufacturing units sprouting in Bengaluru. Miranao Srija finds out that their business has reportedly improved by 50% since then and also generated employment, especially for women. Take a look. It's been three years since Karnataka government implemented plastic ban across the state. Though most citizens are yet to switch from plastic to eco-friendly bags, the move has brought cheer to a few people. With bulk orders from software companies, textile companies and hospitals, Soma Shekhar is running against time to manufacture paper bags. But <laughs> Initiative to Unplastic India is catching up with a lot of youngsters in Bengaluru. After paper bags, we went to check out startups which are manufacturing cloth bags in the city. Founded in 2017 in an industrial area in Bengaluru, this eco friendly startup manufactures 100% cotton cloth bags. The company successfully caters to some of the biggest clients in the city who opt only for 100% biodegradable cloth bags. Over the past 10 months, uh, we have seen about 100% increase uh, in the requirement. We have actually uh, doubled our uh, production capacity from 1.5 lakhs to 3 lakh bags a month currently. Uh, and it's been only about two years we started uh, the entire business of making these bags. In fact, at a time of economic slowdown, the plastic ban is a blessing for several people as the labor-intensive cloth pack manufacturing units generate quite a few jobs. Mostly 90% people who work with us are women. We are able to generate uh, employment for about 15 women in this kind of a setup, uh, which is a direct employment. And about 30 more women come to us on a regular basis, which is an indirect employment wherein we outsource some of the job work to these women. Factory me aake hum ek saal ho gaye kam kar rahe hain. Sab hi fayda ho raha hai kyunki bachche ko jaake school ko chhod ke aana, fir kam karna, sath ho gaya timing hamar ko. Aur ghar me baith ke kam karte hain na ladies ek ek logon ko factory ko nahi bhejte. To stitching karte hain ghar me lekh jaake piece stitching karte hain. Ek itna piece ko itna bol ke fee rehta hai na. To ghar me baith ke bhi wo kama sakte hain. Bahar nahi jaane wale ko bhi acha fayda hai. India has over 30,000 processing plastic units with an annual turnover of 2.5. 2 lakh crore rupees. However, the plastic ban has clearly taken a hit as far as the industry is concerned. It has definitely brought cheers on the other side of the industries, which is the eco-friendly industries. As far as Bengaluru is concerned, in the next couple of days, we're also going to see where plastic is going to be completely way out here in the city because we've been witnessing nearly 50 to 60 percent of the turnover as far as eco-friendly industries are concerned. With video journalist Pradeep, this is Shreeja reporting for Mirror Now in Bengaluru. Well, plastic pollution is undoubtedly one of the worst forms of pollution. With India having laid down an agenda to fight climate change, some cities have so slowly started taking steps towards saying no to plastic. Now, Bengaluru Airport Authority has actually called for citizens to donate plastic waste and then step on it. Nehai Bale has this story. Plastic Beku. We want plastic. Yes, that's the unusual slogan adopted by Bengaluru International Airport Authority Limited. But don't be alarmed. 
This is part of an effort to reutilize plastic in a way which helps the environment. Airport authorities are asking citizens to donate their plastic waste to build a 50 kilometer road within the campus. This unique campaign also looks to raise awareness about waste segregation at source. The aggregate and the bitumen will be heated parallelly to 1500 degrees Celsius and transferred to the mixing chamber. Thereafter, 6 to 8 percent of the shredded plastic will be blended with the heated mix before spreading it on the road. This is where the uh, bitumen is mixed with the aggregates and it's taken in the trucks to our roads to be constructed in the uh, uh, airport area. So here what we have done, we have got a mixture of the uh, coarse aggregate, fine aggregates and the sand which will be heated to an extent of about 150 to 160 degrees. And then the shredded waste plastic that is there which has been cleaned up and processed is going to be mixed along with the aggregates. There is a solution for potful free road by using this plastic where the moisture is damaging with abrupt rains and improper drainage, this plastic can give a solution to that particular problem. Once the mix is readied in the plant, it is transported to the site where the roads are going to be laid out. The idea of laying out roads using plastic mixed in the tar is not new. Unfortunately, it hasn't seen much success in the country yet. We're in an age where plastic usage is inevitable by most of us. We use it on a daily basis, but do we understand the consequences of this usage? We, as responsible citizens of India, of this world, are contributing to climate change. It's most unfortunate, and at a time like this, when the Bangalore International Airport authorities have taken up this initiative to use plastic in an innovative way, it's about time we all stepped up and realized that it's high time we cut down the plastic in our daily lives as well. With video journalist Shiv Shankar in Bengaluru, this is Neha Hibale for Mirror Now. From Karnataka, let's shift focus to Maharashtra. Now, a year after Maharashtra government banned single-use plastic in the state, Mirror now went on ground to check the extent to which Mumbaikars have, in fact, stopped using plastic. Remember, in June 2018, the state had imposed a blanket ban on plastic bags, bottles, as well as thermocol bags. Dairies that sold milk asked manufacturers to recycle the pouches. But uh, when we went on ground, we found that the problem was multifold. Mirror now found that street vendors continue to use single-use plastic, which is still rampant, especially in the vegetables and flower markets. बैंड होने के बाद क्या है दो आड़े महीना शुरू में मतलब कैसा है बिजनेस अपना मतलब खूब डेवलप ऐसा लगा लेकिन बड़े बड़े फैक्ट्री वाले हैं वो क्या गपचू बैठेंगे करो आप जो रुपया खर्चा करके वो अलग अलग सिस्टम के बैग निकाले उन्होंने तो अपना नसीब से अपने को मिलता अपना जो रेगुलर कस्टमर है जूना कस्टमर है वो अपने पास लेते हैं और छोटा मोटा जो छोटा मोटा चाहिए नॉर्मल शॉप में लेते हैं तो हमें तो कुछ उसमें कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं हुआ हमारा बिजनेस है जो चल रहा है अभी मैं जब ट्रैवल से आया तो मेरे हाथ में कुछ नहीं रहा तो मैं यूज प्लास्टिक ही करूँगा वो नो ऑप्शन में वो तो वो तो वही करूँगा एक्चुअल अभी इसके लिए ऑप्शन नहीं था मेरे पास इसलिए अब ले रहा हूँ ऐसे कुछ यानी कि प्लास्टिक जो बन रहा है उसके ऊपर मैं भी सपोर्ट कर रहा हूँ हम लोग भी अगर घर में यहाँ पे नहीं यूज होता अभी इसके लिए ऑप्शन है छुट्टा नहीं देते पैकेट है तो पैकेट लेना पड़ता है आई एम नॉट बी परचेसिंग फॉर दिस अभी जस्ट नहीं यहाँ से मैं लेके गए आया था मैं यही से मैंने खरीद के अभी ले लिया था क्योंकि मेरे पास कोई फिलहाल नहीं था और अर्जेंसी था मेरे को इसलिए तो मैं मोस्टली घर से यही लेके आता हूँ जो भी है मेरा जो कपड़े का थैली रहते हैं क्योंकि मोमो ऑर्डर मोस्टली वही हम प्रिपेयर करते हैं इसीलिए 
हम लोग को अवेयरनेस है इसके लिए कि नहीं करना चाहिए मगर अभी क्या वो लोग नहीं बंद कर दे तो क्या पता हम लोगों ने तो स्ट्रिक्टली मना ही किया है कि मत दीजिए पर वो प्रोवाइड करते ही है कि बोलते कि ले लो करके हमारे पास है स्टॉक में मना अभी वो लोग पहला तो नहीं लेता था वो लोग नहीं देता है तो नहीं लेता है वो लोग अभी देने चालू किया तो लेता है हाँ नहीं तो नहीं देता है तो हम लोग थैली रखते ही Bigger stores, meanwhile, have found some alternative solutions. Take a look. वो उधर से कंपनी से आते हुए हम वो आपको बोलते हैं कि 51 आइकन का है और इसमें अगर ये पैकिंग नहीं आएगा तो ये पैरी सेवेल आइटम ये डैमेज हो जाएगा. डैमेज हो गया तो किसान लोगों का इसमें जो व्यापारी का कोई नुकसान नहीं होगा. इसमें किसान लोगों का ही नुकसान होता है और जब आप लोगों को दे रहे ये नहीं लेकिन दूसरा फूल जो है वो सब अब दे रहे तब उनका ही कवर लेके आते हैं लोग या क्या क्या नहीं नहीं अभी कैसा है अभी वो ये ऐसा कपड़े का बैग भी हम रखा है कपड़े वाला जो बैग है वो तो हमारे तरफ से कस्टमर को हम देते क्योंकि माल हम हमको सेल करने का थोड़ा टाइम ऐसा लगता है लेकिन हो जाएगा हम लोग पेपर बैग्स भी वापरते हैं छोटे छोटे आइटम्स के लिए ये पेपर बैग्स आते हैं ये इजी आता है हाँ। देने के लिए भी इजी है हाँ। कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हमको सस्ता भी पड़ता है प्लास्टिक बैग से तो सस्ता होता है अच्छा और इजी है हाँ। तो अभी के लिए कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन हमने देखा ऐसा लगा हमको भी प्रॉब्लम लगा लेकिन कस्टमर मांगते रहते है लेकिन हो गया अभी वो भी समझने लगा अभी हंड्रेड में से एटी तो समझ गए घूत थेली लेके ही आते After the plastic ban here in the state of Maharashtra, what we've seen is that while smaller uh, shops and people uh, on the streets are beginning to use uh, single-use plastic, the bigger ones, bigger shops are not. In fact, these are the alternatives. This is one alternative that you're looking at uh, for the single-use plastic. If I can also show you around, this is what most of the shops, bigger shops, which are aware of the plastic ban, are in fact. Uh, selling there are cloth bags there are uh, uh, other alternatives to single use plastic if i can also show you there is an eco uh, eco friendly uh, cloth bag of course there are this is another alternative so there are different alternatives even papers being used uh, in several uh, cases as well so it seems like the bigger stores of course no and are aware of the plastic uh, ban while the smaller ones especially the ones on the streets are using single use plastic well let's move down south now from uh, january this year tamil nadu government has imposed a ban on single use plastic the city's civic body greater chennai corporation has taken the challenge head on by launching the zero waste initiative now according to civic officials this has led to a 5 to 10% drop in plastic waste at least 70% uh, i beg your pardon at least 70 material recovery facilities have been set up to deal with biodegradable waste mirnaus pramod madhav reports from one such facility wouldn't be enough to say that greater chennai corporation is actually doing a revolution when it comes to segregation of garbage because here we are actual actual dumpster but you could see behind us how the thing is they have they in the gate itself they start the segregation plastic is differentiated from normal items biological uh, waste is completely removed most of them are used as compost and all these plants over here whatever you see they are like you know grown from actual waste and that's the most surprising part it's acting in a, actually working in a very good man if you could see over here this this is manure that has been collected from dumpster biological waste and that these plants are actually grown here in fact these are sold in fact they have a separate unit for actually uh, shredding plastic that is also being done here and each and every coconut that you see over here all those things are collected from garbage alone but here they are completely changed the best part here is that those shoes you see they have been repaired they actually removed and taken from the garbage repaired such a same way behind us you could see actually people working whatever clothes that they could recover from such garbage they are repairing it they are to washing it they are ironing it and giving it to the people who are in need in fact clothes that cannot be given back to like people to wear it's cut and made into uh, eco friendly bags that way a greater revolution is actually occurring and here it seems like per day 15 tons of waste would come to this spot office right now they are almost recycling 4.5 tons definitely a greater job done by the greater chennai of corporation launch something called the zero waste chennai initiative what the zero waste chennai initiative means is that we need to transition to a different way of waste management um it has 
so far a lot of waste management conversations have focused on collection and disposal in our um, dump yard. It has to be source segregation and it has to be three-way source segregation, right? So all houses, all apartments, all offices have to maintain their biodegradable waste, their non-biodegradable waste which is recyclable and their sanitary waste. They have to be three separate streams and this has to be done within our premises. The second thing that the corporation is doing is setting up infrastructure that's necessary to process segregated waste. We are also setting up material recovery facilities. These MRFs, we have currently about 70, um, 75 odd MRFs across the city. This is where all the non-biodegradable, recyclable material from households is taken. Um, and from the MRFs, vendors are being engaged to come and collect it. Pradesh. Over the past one year in Noida, at least 3,000 fines have been issued by civic officials on those who flouted the ban. Now, while the transition was slow initially, the enforcement has become much stricter in recent months, ever since PM Modi spoke against single-use plastic on Independence Day. While many vendors welcomed the ban and even took upon themselves to educate their customers, some others feared that this could hit their business. Alok Singh has this story. नहीं सर कभी कभार जैसे मिल जाता है कोई ग्राहक तो देना पड़ जाता है देना पड़ जाता है हाँ वैसे कोई बात नहीं है थैले ही रखा करें हम लोग थैले रखते हो हाँ रखते हैं चलान वलान कटा कि नहीं कटा सर एक बार नहीं कटा है अभी अभी नहीं कटा है चलान देखो पन्नी नहीं सर आज के बाद कोई पन्नी नहीं मिलेगी आज के बाद कोई पन्नी नहीं मिलेगी कभी नहीं कभी नहीं नहीं पेपर में आई हमने तो उसी दिन बंद कर दी हाँ वो हमें जुर्माना देना थोड़ी है सही बात क्या कर भी ये पॉलिथीन का इस्तेमाल कर नहीं गलत है लेकिन सामान किस चीज में दे में सारी समस्या ये है ये महंगा है और पांच रुपए का एक पड़ता है अच्छा अब इसमें क्या समस्या हल हो हो सकती है मतलब पांच रुपए लगा तो गाख नहीं देगा हमें कब से कर ये मेरे पंद्रह बारह से पंद्रह दिन हो गए किस तरह का थैला दिखाएंगे उस तरह का ये कभी चलान वालान कटा क्या चलान नहीं कटा आए थे हमारे पास सूचना देके गए जब सही हमने ये करा है अच्छा पहले सूचना देके और ये है ये बंद बोले सिंदर अच्छा ये इस तरीके से ये बोर्ड भी लगा हुआ ये तुमने चिपकाया है उन्होंने चिपकाया है नहीं हमने चिपकाया है ये तुमने कुछ चिपकाया है जी � हो जाना चाहिए और हो जाएगा जिस तरह से अब इन्होंने अवेयरनेस की है अच्छा हम्म अब काफी अच्छी अच्छी तरीके से इन्होंने पब्लिसाइज किया है उसके फायदे नुकसान की बात करी है लेकिन देखो मैं लेकर पड़ी तो नहीं है जो आदमी जो भी होगा वो भी होगा जो भाई साहब देखो हमारा सामान दो छोटा छोला � लेकिन आगे यूज़ करोगे प्लास्टिक नहीं आगे ले आगे नहीं लोगे आ नहीं आगे ले एक्टिविस्ट इन द स्टेट बिलीव दैट स्ट्रिक्ट इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ़ लॉ इज़ नीडेड फॉर द सक्सेस ऑफ़ द मिशन एस देर इज़ लो अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग द हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ़ प्लास्टिक जो बैन पिछले कई सालों से चल रहा है प्लास्टिक या पॉलिथीन के ऊपर अभी तक वो ही पूरी तरह से लागू नहीं हो पाया है कागजों में वो प्रतिबंधित है लेकिन मौके पे आप पूरे उत्तर प्रदेश में अगर आप देखेंगे तो धड़ल्ले से आपको पॉलिथीन उपलब्ध हो सकती है चाहे वो ठेली है चाहे वो बड़ी दुकान है चाहे मॉल है तो कहीं ना कहीं इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एक प्रॉब्लम है जागरूकता भी एक समस्या है हम जगह जगह जाते हैं अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स कैरी आउट करते हैं जिससे प्लास्टिक प्लास्टिक का बैन हो सके और उसकी जगह हम ऐसी चीजें यूज कर सके जो एनवायरनमेंट में इजीली बायोडिग्रेडेबल हो प्लास्टिक का बैन मेरे हिसाब से कंपलीटली बैन हो जाना चाहिए प्लास्टिक का यूज बैन हो जाना चाहिए क्योंकि जैसा कि हम सब जानते हैं क्योंकि इट टेक्स अ थाउजेंड ऑफ ईयर टू गेट बायोडिग्रेडेड इन द सोइल सो और वो जो 
हमारे जो फ्रेंडली ऑर्गेनिजम्स होते हैं सॉइल में उसको भी जो सॉइल की प्रोडक्टिविटी होती है उसको भी खराब पता है तो मेरे हिसाब से बैन हो जाना चाहिए उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट बैन द यूज ऑफ पॉलीथीन इन 2018 बट डिस्पाइट दैट देर आर सेवरल डिस्ट्रिक्ट वेयर दीज पॉलीथीन आर स्टिल बींग यूज एज फार एज दोएडा इज कंसर्न देर आर थ्री थाउजेंड चालान्स हैव बीन इशूड इन दास्ट वन ईयर टू द पीपल हु आर फाउंड सेलिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट्स इन द पॉलीथीन और गिविंग देयर प्रोडक्ट्स इन द पॉलीबैग्स अकॉर्डिंग टू नोएडा अथॉरिटी देर आर सम अवेयरनेस कम अमंग द पीपल बट मोर अवेयरनेस येट टू बी कम Now, ever since the ban on single-use plastic was announced by the centre, there has been a lot of chaos in the plastic manufacturing industry. Many of them claim that there are no clear guidelines by the government, and that there is confusion over what, in fact, is considered as single-use plastic. Now, the All India Plastic Manufacturers Association said that they have stopped production in factories since the demand from wholesalers and buyers has witnessed a steep decline. There is also growing apprehension that employment in the sector will take a hit mirnaus ayushman has uh, kumar spoke to some of the factory owners take a look sustainable plastic wo hai jo reuse hota hai recycle hota hai to government pehle ye think kare ki us plastic ko priority de jisko reuse kiya ja sake recycle kiya ja sake aur reduce kiya ja sake jo plastic hai agar hum baat kare to main aapko ek example de deta hu mere hath mein ye do cup hai सरकार कह रही है इसको बैन करना है ये प्लास्टिक है गलत है गलत है मगर ये 100 परसेंट रीयूजेबल है 100 परसेंट रिसाइकलेबल है और अगर आप इसकी बात करें पेपर कप की अगर हम बात करें तो ये पॉलीकोटेड है इसके अंदर इन साइड से ना ये रिसाइकल हो सकता है ना ये रीयूज हो सकता है और अगर आप पेपर कप की कंजम्पन बढ़ाएंगे तो अल्टीमेटली यू विल लीड टू डिफॉरेस्ट गवर्नमेंट ने कोई स्टडी नहीं की है कि इसमें जो प्लास्टिक है वो किस तरीके से इन्वायरमेंट को हार्म करता है प्लास्टिक जितना भी है टोटल रिसाइकलेबल है चाहे वो दूध की थैली है चाहे वो नमक की थैली है चाहे वो गारमेंट्स की पैकिंग में यूज़ होता है कोई भी स्टडी गवर्नमेंट की ये नहीं कहती है कि प्लास्टिक हार्मफुल है ये प्रॉब्लम है तो लिटरिंग की प्रॉब्लम है और उसके अलावा और कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट यू बी सरप्राइज टू नो टिल नाउ देर इज़ नो पॉलिसी ऑन सिंगल यूज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड दैट ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव हैज़ बीन डेफर टू ट्वेंटी थर्टी ऑलरेडी नाउ सो द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज ऑल्सो are in the process of framing good policies so that the end user is not affected by the plastic sir plastic is supposed to be 8 to 10% of municipal solid waste at the landfill site is 4% and single use may be just about 10% of this 4% which means what we are harping about is less than 1% of the municipal solid waste where is the problem prepared to buy all plastic from the civic bodies all all means all segregated plastic with their mandated to then we pay something for this i mean where is the problem i fail to see the problem pehle plastic india mein banta nahi tha manufacture nahi hota tha sara import hota tha ab pichle 25 saal se industry aur yahan tak pahunchi hai ki apne sal pairon pe khadi hui hai usko ban karne ki talwar latka di to jo industry 25 saal se bani hai lakho roll industry chalu hui hai rozgar mila hai to usko ban karke sabko berozgar kar denge Now, the move to ban plastic has made several plastic manufacturers anxious. They fear that the ban on plastic manufacture it could add to the unemployment crisis in India. They've also asked the government to clarify on their vision regarding the future course of action for the plastic industry. अब जब ये ban की जब से बात हुई है 15-20 दिन से तो ना तो markets में एक chaos मच गया है. और इस वजह से जो है ऑर्डर्स भी कम हो गए हैं इकॉनमी हमारी ड्रॉप डाउन की तरफ जाने की कगार पे है आज जिन्होंने मशीन्स एस्टेब्लिश करी हुई हैं या इंस्टॉल करी हुई हैं वो रन नहीं कर पा रहे अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बढ़ रही है तो इस चीज़ के बारे में गवर्नमेंट क्या सोच रही है वो ज़रूर हमें एक इन्फॉर्म करे और बताए कि हमारा आगे इंडस्ट्री को लेकर क्या विजन है गवर्नमेंट का However experts feel that a blanket ban on single use plastic may not be successful in in, in India uh, Dr Sunil Pandey director environment and uh, waste management division in the energy and resources institute claims that a lot of single use plastic items end up in landfills since they cannot be recycled I understanding ban would not work so much in a country like India where implementation is weak but 
it's also realization that at some stage you'll have to uh, think of phasing out some of these problematic plastic items which are also called single use plastic uh, the marine litter the globally talked problem of marine litter is contributed by uh, waste uh, waste which is disposed on land 80% of that contributes to i mean marine litter 80% of marine litter is contributed by land based activities and 90% of that uh, waste is plastics and all single use plastics the plastic manufacturers in the national capital and the ncr region are caught in a huddle because of the decision of government for banning the single use plastics in the country the manufacturers say that this decision of government directly impacts them because the demand of plastics has gone down which is directly impacting the job and the manufacturing sector they feel that the government has first got to define as to what is single use plastic and at the same time they need to work on the municipalities as to how the municipalities function so that the plastic which we see on roads can be gathered properly and the source division of the waste that is being generated by people can be done properly with camera person jagbandhu ayushman kumar for mirror now and with that it's a wrap on this special show thanks so much for watching stay tuned to mirror now